All right, so we def definitely gained some experience in the party. Let's take advantage. Copy, Echo One. This is Ranger Command. Go ahead. Over. Echo One, I'm happy to say several members of your team have earned field promotions. Hooray! Congratulations, Echo One. You've done well. Even if the actual level up itself doesn't have amazing consequences, because who knows what I'll be able to actually get with it, but... Oh, it's just good to get more constitution. <laughs> just across the board, but especially for scary, that's handy. Everyone getting more health is a handy thing. This, because... The same thing as playing Dungeons and Dragons, really. It's like, uh, the incremental increase is nice, but damn, when you first make your character, that constitution increase is actually like a huge bonus. Right off the bat. Alright, so, character skills. I can get... I'm gonna want to get actual combat skills. I think for this character and for my sniper, I want to get a basic amount of point into some other skill, just because right now... Man, we cannot use shit as these characters, it's becoming a problem. So my strategy here with Dolores Young is that I should probably give her some shotgun skill, because she's not going to be in the front lines. As a general rule, I want her to be hanging out in the back. But sh we, sh I mean, as, as shown in the last fight, s getting swarmed definitely happens. And no one's currently using shotguns, which have their own unique ammo. So I think it makes sense to put points into that. I'm not entirely psyched by the fact that I don't think I have a shotgun. I have a heavy weapon. That's what I'm, I might give that to my the assault rifle. I don't think I have a shotgun right now, which is a bummer. So the, 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 it's a toss-up between making a short-term gain or versus a long-term gain. Uh, if I have to fight someone again right away, it might be in trouble for not having shotguns, not not having a shotgun for her shotgun skill. But I'm somewhat banking on the fact that these guys seem like they were trying to beat their way into something, and the fact that one of them was a big boss character that they were building up to, because they were like, one of them has a jackhammer for an arm, and then I killed someone named Jackhammer who was mailing people with a jackhammer arm. I think we might be more or less done fighting our way through here, so I'm banking on the idea of getting a vendor soon where I can potentially buy a shotgun, I hope. Let's get those two points in there, because the base skill is there, called Careful Hunter. Um, actually, let's go ahead and cancel that really quick. Yeah, let's find out what what Careful Hunter is. Hunter... This Oh, I went past it. Big Game Hunter. That's not what I was going for. That's bonus damage versus animals. Careful, Hunter. Minus 25% chance of friendly fire when using shock. That seems like a good thing. All right, yeah. I'll give you your two points. Also, each point gives me... Let's see. Oh, yeah. Level one of a skill gives you 30% base chance to hit. So that's why you're garbage at using a weapon that doesn't have a single point into it yet. Because you that, that first point is the first huge leap. But I think I'm also going to put that second point in there. I can afford an additional upgrade for certain skills. These ones are level 3, are already too high at this point. Let's see, I should probably get some... I pr let's probably get her some basic... Uh, Prunel Cross level 2. Oh, that's interesting, it tells you the ranks that other people have in these things so you don't cross-contaminate. Well... I think I want to give her a little bit of uh, lockpicking. We've seen a lot of locks in the area, and I can't necessarily beat them all open forever. Oh, locks or computers, though. Let's see. Locks can be forced open to some extent, but computers... I'm kind of screwed right now if I encounter computer-related stuff, so I think I might actually go for the computer next. I want to get her some basic skills in a few different things. It's worthwhile because she gets uh, points the fastest, so she can actually... Uh, she can be the most widespread at having a bunch of knowledge skills. That's basically gonna be her role. I'm giving her the basic ability to use some shotgun, but most importantly, she can do a whole bunch of versatile things in the open world and for healing the party. Which is more or less what her purpose is in this party. And hopefully I can keep that going well. Hello, Prunel. You died that one time a couple fights ago, so you still don't have enough experience. Though you're, oh, you're only seven away, though. You'll get there one day. Alright. Gustavo Molotov. Let's see, I need to give you skills at something combat related that isn't your sniper rifle. Do I just go heavy? It sounds like a fun thing to do because he's Gustavo Molotov. He's a big, badass, aggressive character or something. Uh, large clip size. It could be a fun, yeah. 
He could use the two gimmicky types of weapons whenever he's out of sniper rifle ammo, or even just after the first few rounds of sniper rounds, he could switch to heavy weapons to wail on people within certain ranges. That sounds like a fun thing to do for him. At least put one point into it. Ne the next point gives him... Well, let's decrease real quick. So the first point gives you 25%. Bam. Second point gives you six more. Might be worth doing. I can't afford sniper right now. It would be nice to continually increase his base chance with sniper rifles, but it will involve saving up more. So do I want to go with heavy or outdoorsman? Heavy or outdoorsman, or what's the other one? Perception is the one I was using? I thought it was perception. Do I not have any points into... Oh, it's, it's over there because I already put points into it, right? They put them in a separate spot to negotiate them. Ah... Let's ignore it, outdoorsman. I'll, I'll put another point into... I'll probably put another point into the uh, skill that I already started here. For some better accuracy. Because one point is a pretty low spot to start in. Alright, finally, we have Scary Sally. Also two points. Blunt weapons will cost two levels worth of points, so if I want to do that, I need to save up. Do I want to save up? It would unlock Charge. Might as well investigate what charge means, because it could be a really cool skill, actually. Uh, da -da -da -da. I'm glad you can look at them all here, at least. Uh, it's a small bonus at uh, combat speed. Actually, that might be a decent bonus at combat speed. Uh, combat speed is 2.4. Yeah, I would take her to uh, 2.9. So, that, so yeah, at that scale, 0.5 is actually a big deal. In the first turn of combat. So it helps her get the first action, basically. Which is interesting. It's probably worthwhile. Question is whether I want to save up for it. Alternative is leadership is currently about to be available. We'd get taunt, which could also be handy. If taunt is what it does in every other game that uses something called taunt, it's probably useful. Where is it? Where are you at? There's so many to go through over here. So many. Oh, wow. All right. I hope I didn't go past. Oh, wait, they're, they're alphabetical, dummy. All right, uh, minus 3% chance to hit for enemies within leadership range. Oh, cool. That's actually really cool. So anyone near her has a reduced chance to hit. That actually sounds super useful. So I'm going to grab that for now. Seems like a worthwhile to gr thing to grab at the moment. All right. I will go ahead and quick save since I just went through all that effort. So, I learned two things that would have been really useful earlier. One of them is that I could press down on the D-pad to take a knee. Oh, oh camera. Okay, come back here. If you take a knee, you apparently get bonus AP. You lose one AP if you do it during combat, but it apparently makes you more accurate. So that would have been a useful tactic for some of our characters. That would have been good to know. I. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but I don't think the game actually ever told me that, and it would have been useful. Alternatively, I can also press left stick, and it goes into individual character control mode, which would be really handy, because then you could take our characters and basically do this at the beginning of the fight. I would have been able to be like, all right, you take the, f the front, you get in the back, everyone's behind cover, all right, now, Gus, take your shot. And that would have been useful for the last several fights, because then I wouldn't have been starting every fight standing in the open like a jackass, and everyone just shooting me, which is what happened. Uh, I also don't think the uh, tutorial told me about that yet, which is weird, because they've been spamming me with tutorials non-stop, and some of them have been really obvious, boring things. Those little details actually would have been really handy if they had told me about them. Bladed weapon. Alright. Bonus 15% damage. So I get my hand heavy-handed bonus for Sally, but it's a bladed weapon, so I don't get any benefits otherwise. Blades might be a good alternative to give to somebody. Maybe my, yeah, maybe my pistol character, for example. I'll think about it. It might not be necessary to give another person a bladed skill. So what's going on over here? Uh, a crane looms over the town walls. You can see a radio antenna and small satellite dishes wired up to it. Way, way, way above the ground. A small metal speaker box bolted to the wall. There's a button on it that's si uh, and a sign that says, push to talk. Heads up below! Box coming down! I guess they saw what I did, so they know that I'm friendly. 
that I killed all the guys that were causing them problems. All right. Yeah, I think I was right in making the right bet at saying that we probably saved the day. And we're probably now safe to... Hopefully find a store with a shotgun in it to fulfill my arsenal. All right. We gonna go? Is there something I have to interact with? Hop in. We'll bring you up. All right. Well, I'm feeling kind of safe from bandits at the moment. So that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get them to let them in. And we saved them. Too bad for the people at Ag, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just like a conch drawing? A hopscotch, maybe? Is this where the kids are? Keep being kept safe? What's with the people that didn't come up that didn't come here? A grizzled man wrapped in leather a leather duster that's clearly been handed down from gunshot victim to gunshot victim, and a filthy t-shirt that has the word security written across the chest. The look of disgust he has stapled on his face seems permanent. Even when he's smiling. Well, all right, McNamara. Good job. Wait a minute. You're not McNamara. Who the... Rangers? Rangers? Uh, I mean... Woohoo! Rangers! Our saviors! Don't... I mean, don't act happy to see us. Well, I guess I gotta thank you for taking care of these clowns. So you could have got here before they wrecked our irrigation system and killed our mayor. We came straight here, asshole. You gonna go finish them off now? Or are you just here for our radio tower like you told Mayor Vickstrom? Earlier you thought we were McNamara? Who's McNamara? Huh? Uh, nobody. You wouldn't know him. What's no? Oh, hard ass level two required. Like, you know. Don't lie to me. What happened to the mayor? Those wreckers couldn't hit what they were aiming at if their lives depended on it. But they got in a lucky shot yesterday. And shot Mayor Vickstrom when they was aiming at me. Bloom clear off the wall. Oh, he probably should have not been standing at the edge of the wall. Just pro tip there, maybe. I've had to step in as temporary commander now Vickstrom's gone. But I aim to hold a vote and make it official as soon as things calm down. Then we'll have some real law and order around here. And we won't have to rely on the rangers for help anymore, either. So what's the trouble with the irrigation system? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Kate Preston says a wrecking crew bomb smashed some valves and it's leaking like a sieve. She's been down in the tunnels trying to fix it since the attack started. I think she's just hiding from the fighting like the woman she is. Oh. Friendly thing to say. All right. You got a problem with rangers? After your history with us, you're damn right we got a problem with you. You're tolerated here, but you won't never be loved. But all I want is love. So who are these clowns? Call themselves the Wrecking Crew. Stupid name. But then they all have stupid names. Like that jackhammer chick. Of course, if the shoe fits. What do you know about this jackhammer? I've seen a lot of freaks come out of the waste in my time, but I've never seen anything like her before. She had an arm like a jackhammer. How is that possible? Doc Warner couldn't do a surgery like that in a million years. Who is Doc Warner? Our local sawbones. Me and the Doc don't see eye to eye on a lot of things, but I owe him for a life saved, so I leave him be. Warner saved your life? Never mind about that, Rangers. It's not your business. All right, then back to the earlier topic. What do you know about this this wrecking crew? I'm surprised you haven't heard of them. You being the law around here. They've been around for a year or so. Only mobile junkyard I've ever seen. Don't know why they got all aggressive all of a sudden. They've upgraded their weapons, too. Who has a jackhammer arm? How is that shit possible? Anyhow, they fucked us up proper. Not only did they kill the mayor and burn down our spring crop, but apparently one of their bombs smashed our irrigation system, too. Gonna take a while to get back to normal. So what history is that? I guess old Snake ain't too keen to teach his new recruits the truth about the Rangers' glorious past. Well, let me fill you in. Fifteen years ago, you fuckers came out here and shot a little orphan boy's dog. And then you shot the little orphan boy, my nephew Bobby. 
who weren't armed with nothing but a BB gun. A BB gun. Well, after that, Highpool only accepted Ranger protection because there was nobody else to turn to. Now there is. So you can go tell the General we ain't forgotten and we ain't forgiven. And if he isn't careful, we ain't sending him any water no more either. Oh, that's a bummer. That sounds like it was probably an honest misunderstanding where they probably mistook it for a real gun. That kind of stuff actually happens in real life. It's why why uh, toy guns always have those orange plastic tips on them to indicate that they're not real. Save a few children's lives. So what happened to Bobby? Bobby's where the rangers can't hurt him anymore. I visit his grave every day. The Rex is too. The dog and his boy, together forever. Rex? He's buried right over there. Right next to Bobby. So what do you think about Kate Preston? The woman that's supposed to be repairing the irrigation system. She thinks she's got the answer to everything. She thinks she's smarter than everybody else. Well, she's got the same problem the Rangers do. Whole lot of talking and not so much doing. Strangely, I get the feeling that she is actually smarter than the rest of them. You talk like High Pool isn't in Ranger territory anymore. Well, are we? You'd think the Rangers would keep a better eye on the place that provides them with the most of their water. The Rangers don't want to protect us anymore. The Scorpions are thirsty too. Keep it in mind. I'm right here, buddy. So, you're the law and order candidate. You still think the Rangers are the only ones who can deliver justice in this world? Ha! Huh. You got another thing coming. Friendly. All right, so when does this vote happen? Gonna have a show of hands in the town square once we get these wreckers dealt with and the irrigation fixed. Kate Preston thinks she's a shoe-in, but I'm the one getting things done around here. All she does is talk. I think the people will make the right choice. I get the feeling that Kate might be a little more ranger-friendly, so maybe she, maybe she'd be a better... Uh, target to back if we get the opportunity because this guy seems like he won't be super cooperative All right, looks like we've already finished the wreckers Not all of them and the rest of them will be back for a reckoning That'll be the end of us unless you or the red scorpions take them out first Personally, I'm inclined to ask the scorpions to do it. They get things done But if you want to try doing your job for a change well, they must have a camp around here somewhere find it and start shooting that is, after all, what you do best. I saved people's lives, asshole. Bam! Wrecking Crew Stronghold. Right there next to the Ag Center. Poor, poor Ag Center. They're dead now, right? They're very, very dead. Actually, we would like to use a radio sig signal. We're tracking a sig- uh, a ra your radio tower. We're, we're tracking a signal. Hmm. I thought as much. Rangers always think of themselves first. Well, we got an antenna up on the crane, but if you want to use it, you'll have to get it back online. There's some kind of short in the tunnels beneath the reservoir. See Kate Preston down there. She'll give you directions if she isn't too busy fixing leaks. Go on then. Remind us why we agreed to your protection. I just... You fucker. Can I just attack him? I really want to just like start putting holes in him because he's being an asshole. Uh, do your job for once. Did you, did you see the thing I did? See all the things? Look, see all those bodies down there? I can still see them. No, I can't actually see them from here. But I did that. It was me, dick. Well, how about you? Can I talk to you? Uh, amazing that the people of Hydepool felt safe enough to let their kids play outside the walls. Not anymore. Yeah, this should not be... This should not be child's chalk and stuff. I get that's probably the only concrete they have access to, but they should not have been over here where they totally could have gotten shot. The wind whistles mournfully through the rusty struts of this empty tower. Anything over here? Nah? Alright, well, let's take a look. Oh, shovel! Don't mind if I do. More scrap. Shotgun shells for our hopefully soon-to-be shotgun owner. That reminds me. Let's make sure I give my existing shotgun shells over to her before I lose track. 
That'll help her survive more when she gets swarmed by a jackhammer monster like she did a moment ago. Alrighty. What's that? A valve for controlling water flow. That's probably going to come up somewhere. Alright. A lot going on here. Search near the radio tower for the repeater unit, uh, units that Captain Ace was carrying. Protect High Pool from the Wrecking Crew. Now that you've defeated the Wrecking cr uh, Crew in High Pool, Sean Bergen wants us to finish them off at their main camp so they can't regroup and come back for vengeance. He's shown us where to find them on our map. Gonna have to armor up before we do that. Take Alexi Alexi's note to his soulmate in High Pool. Alexei Chuklin asked him asked us to take a note up to his soulmate in Hyatt Pool so they can leave the town together. He didn't specifically say who his soulmate was. We'll just have to keep our eyes open. Find a use for the scorched valve wheel. In the in the grass near the crane in Hyatt Pool, we found a scorched valve wheel. It's slightly damaged, but it might still be of use. Talk to Kate Preston in tunnels of under Hyatt Pool. We need to find Kate in the Hyatt Pool irrigation tunnels and ask her what's going on at the irrigation system. Restore power to the radio tower. Which is our, probably our main objective in some ways. The high pool radio tower has no power. We need to reset the breaker and restart the generator, which is located in the irrigation tunnels. Bergen says Kate Preston can tell us where it is. Alrighty. A small grove of trees is, is peaceful. Too peaceful. Rangers, you gotta help me! One of the Wrecking Crew's mortars landed right on my roof! My house is burning down! Please, you gotta figure something out! Oh, uh, is that my mortar? Is that the mortar I fired? Uh, man named Stakovic begged us to find a way to, to, to douse his burning home. Oh, well that's probably what we used the valve for. Maybe they're just teaching me how to use environmental stuff? Scarred and burning from the wreckers bombardment. The concrete cover is cracked but still whole. And worse than that, the main spigot pipe is right above the house. If fire melts the valve seal, we could lose all our water. You seem to know a lot about the pipes. What do you do here? Uh, I, I'm the guy who fills our customers' water tanks when they come for refills. The crane hauls the tanks up here and I attach them to the main, uh, the main across from my house. We pump water up from the aquifer to send their tanks back to the caravans. Smart ass level four. Uh, why not use the pumps to spray your house with water? What, are you crazy? Fine tuning the valve to keep the pressure just right would be nearly impossible. Too little and it'll make Kate's life worse down in the tunnels. Too much it'll blow my house and a lot of topsoil right off the ground. Nearly impossible means it's possible. You can do it. I, you know what? You're right. I can do this. I just need to calibrate it within a 0.5 PSI margin. Only problem is that the only way the re one of the record shells landed near the valve blew the wheel off. If you can find the wheel and pack it on, I can do the rest. It's got to be around here somewhere. Well, what a coincidence. I found the wheel. So let's just attach that to a thing. Is that the spot? One interesting note. Uh, it looks like there is an overflow gate just above the burning house. Wonder if that could come in handy. Use the valve. I'm using the valve right... Oh, there. Oh, I didn't notice the uh, filling up thing at first. Great! Now I just gotta calibrate it. He's gonna blow up his house, isn't he? Fingers crossed, that should do it. Uh-oh. What's gonna happen? Hey, your house is okay. Woohoo, it's working! Hey, we helped out. Also, leveling up happened. You guys remember what the dialogue is, we don't need to sit through it every time. Alright. We just got enough experience for this guy now. That's cool. How much above so Wow, we're way over 700 now. We're closing in on 1,000 for some of these characters. Some of these characters. Alright. So, you. It is tempting to just save up for handguns, especially... I should check out what that skill is. Zeroed. What is that perk? It's going to be all the way at the bottom. Can I, can I skip from the top all the way to the bottom? Yeah, I can. Good to know. Zeroed. Plus 2% stacking critical chance bonus when repeatedly attacking a target with handguns. Bonus lost when switching to another target. That's some inter interesting synergy there. I already get the psychopath bonus. So if I could stack that additionally with that, we'd be in pretty good shape. Let's see. 
Do I want to save my points for a turn? I currently have mechanical repair and demolitions, which have been handy for me so far. We seem to not have trouble finding handgun ammo, so I'm not overly concerned about running out of that. Picking up a new skill would be nice, but I think that skill would also be very nice just to be badass in combat. So I think I'm going to save my points until I level up one more time. Because getting that handgun's ability actually seems pretty handy to me. Alright. Sally. Can we go inside this house we just saved as a reward? And then pillage it? It looks like the bridge was built as a safety measure. Warning signs are plastered all over it. Prohibiting fishing, swimming, and urinating. Don't pee in the water, dude. A quiet house. Looks like it got singed in the recent attack, but it took no major damage. Alright. Oh, this is the one that was burning down, wasn't it? Oh, hello. What's that? Uh, each squad mem member gained one skill point. Oh, shit. Admiring the statue fills your squad with a sense of purpose. That's really handy. A statue of a man carrying a motorcycle helmet, a plaque on the base red Alexei Chukin, or Chuklin. Hero of Highpool, you, we are forever in your debt. Wow, statues give you bonus points, huh? That doesn't help me a lot, but I think... Do we have extra for her? No. Nope, we have to, we have to find a second bonus point to make it count, really. Because you kind of need pairs of points to make this work. Hello. There's a series of boards here over a hole in the ground. The, the twisted limbs of two dead trees arch above them as if to... Shield them from the sun. Dead trees? Oh, you, oh it's, it's looking way over there, not at the thing that it's actually right in front of me. Let's go to my perceptive character. There appears to be an entrance to a subterranean cave. High pool underground. That's interesting. Don't know if I want to go straight in there. Let's, let's look around the town more, but we'll look, we'll, we'll get back into that soon, I'm sure. Hey guys. I don't know what's worth. Worse, not having water, or having water and not being able to get it to the cop, the crops. Kate's trying to fix things uh, down there, but there's a mortar. It looks like a mortar strike happened here. There's a fence. You're the character I didn't talk to yet. Take that, Juvie said. Townie said, "Did you put down the wreckers because you're good guys, or because rangers just like killing people? Oh, you guys suck." Ha ha ha, that's a good one. No making wishes. The cover for this reservoir fell in a long fell in long ago. Warning signs have been placed all around it to keep people away. No drowning, the sign reads. <laughs> I hope you die first. Don't feel so tough now, do you? Ha <laughs> ha, yep. Sign reads no spitting. Who's going to save you now, Redskin? No one. They're, just, they're pretending to shoot against in Indians. That's kind of fucked up. Alright, I don't know what's... Oh, that's the same thing we saw before. No stone skipping. Lots of signs around there. What are you guys doing? Is there a person up here? What? You have a Native American just tied up? Boy, this is hard work. I can sure go for a coffin, coffin nail. That's a type of cigarette in this game. The jail door is quite massive. There's no budging it, but the lock mechanism looks pretty simple to trip. All right, so it's probably wouldn't be that hard to lock pick it. Especially since I have lockpicking on this character, I believe. Are you the one with lockpicking? Zero percent. Did I give lockpicking to someone else, or are you just not good enough? Oh wait, I gave you... I gave you computer science, right. Can they tell me what's going on? A snotty brack with a cruel streak and an attitude. They breed a mean here in Highpool. Hold it, gang. Maybe they've got smokes. Give us some coffin nails or Nico Pops. We need a cigarette break. Why not play with these marbles instead of smoking? How old do you think we are, numb nuts? Next you'll get you'll get us to skip rope and play hopscotch. Maybe like a tree. Make it like a tree and get out of here. Why don't you take this wrist rocket? With a little target practice, you could help uh, keep the town safe when more wreckers show up. You're so stupid, you're- wait. That actually sounds pretty rad. Maybe even gnarly. One problem. We got no ammo. Well... We'll take the slingshot, but we ain't moving till you find us some ammo. That's what the mar- what about marbles? First good idea you've had all day, dickface. Dudes! Let's go- let's go do some target practice. Let me try it. 
All right, so we got rid of our marsh. Hey, you little pissants. I mean, your little pissants. I mean, your spirits are in conflict. As vultures cry, is that who's in here? So they locked him in here, and now they're doing. They're probably doing target practice by this wall over here that had the bottle set up on it. Yep. Shit, there's something wrong with this thing. Uh, yeah, right. You just suck. All right, well I got them out of the way.